according to the problem set 1 dimensions of the chapter dimension we have to solve numerical number 1 uh, we have to prove that force is the product of mass and acceleration for that we can draw this diagram a body of mass m which is moving with an acceleration a so in this case force acting on this body is f a force will be acted in this direction of this body and this force f acting on the body depends upon its mass m and acceleration a as according to the following relation the following relation is what the force is directly proportional to the m to the power x and a to the power y therefore the, that force is equal to a constant k m to the power x a to the power y where k is the constant of proportionality so this is equation 1 therefore what should be the dimension of force dimension of force is equal to dimension of k into dimension of m to the power x and dimension of a to the power y as f equal to k mx a to the power y or comma dimension of force is what m l t to the power minus 2 and dimension of k is 1 because k is constant where k is constant of proportionality k is the constant of proportionality proportionality and mass has the dimension capital M to the power x and acceleration has the dimension L t to the power minus 2 whole to the power y or comma M L t to the power minus 2 and M to the power x and L to the power y to the power minus 2i or comma m l t to the power minus 2 if we simplify then we get what m to the power x l to the power and this is t to the power minus 2y so l to the power y and t to the power minus 2y so finally we get this ml t to the power minus 2 equal m to the power x l to the power y and t to the power minus 2y after that we have to consider the principle of homogeneity we have to know what is principle of homogeneity according to the principle of homogeneity this is principle of homogeneity the dimensions of seven fundamental quantities are same on either side of physical relation so for, from the last relation if we compare the power then what if we compare the power of mass x is equal to 1 and if we compare the power of uh, L length then y is equal to 1 That means if we move to the initial page, initial page, if we compare the power of m, here power of m is 1, so x is equal to 1. And if we compare the power of L, here L is equal to 1, the power of L is equal to 1 and power of L is equal to 1, that's why y is equal to 1. So after application of principle of homogeneity, we get x as 1 and y as 1 so putting the values of values of x and y powers of mass and acceleration in equation 1 in equation 1 initially we have assumed in equation 1 then we get what f as k small k m to the power 1 and a to the power 1 so k ma force experimentally experimentally the 
the value of constant of proportionality is 1, k equal to 1. Therefore, we get the expression of force which is equal to the product of mass and acceleration. This is what proved.